Kristen. It's uh, Ian from the UConn blog. Um, what are you guys doing to prepare to head into the bubble now for the Big East tournament? Uh, well, we just got out of practice like 30 minutes ago. Um, well, we had two days off, so um, our, our legs are feeling refreshed. Our minds are refreshed. Um, you know, we just worked on our offense and sharpening up some things, and uh, we we did a lot of defense too, um, just keeping our man in front of us. And, yeah, just same old stuff. <laughs> Hi, Christian. This is Len Robbins with New York Extra. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, we just spoke to Gino, obviously, and he said that because of the youth of this team and yet how much it's been able to accomplish, it's been both one of the most fun years he's had and one of the most frustrating years he's had. Um, how would you sum it up from a player's standpoint? Uh, I'd say the same thing. Um, you know, we love each other. Like we're sisters. Um, of course there are what seven freshmen and it is frustrating at times just because they, they haven't, you know, been in these situations before or they're, they're not experienced and, and that's okay. It just, you know, it takes a lot of patience. Um, so that's probably what coach is talking about because he's not a guy that has a lot of patience, <laughs> but, um, you know, that's expected because they're freshmen. But we have a lot of fun together. Um, it's just a great group of girls, and I'm happy to be on this team. So that's from my standpoint. <laughs> but before the season started, when you knew how young this team was going to be, and there were all those question marks, right, that just come with it, was there a mm-hmm. point during the season when you said, hey, this could really work, this could really be a special team? Yeah, um, it was like during preseason, uh, just how hard the practices are. Um, they responded very well because, you know, it was it was a lot of questions. I didn't know, you know, what type of players they were, type of people they were. So we didn't know if they were going to fold or, you know, whatever. But they didn't. They never did. And we saw that fight. Um, and that's something that we've been lacking the past couple of years. So that's when I knew that, you know, this is going to be a, a – Good year. Thank you very much for your time. Welcome. Hey, Kristen, it's Alexa. Um, I'm just kind of curious. We've talked with Aaliyah a lot, and um, it kind of seems like she, uh, for as aggressive and tough and physical as she is off the court, she's super soft spoken, um, pretty chill. <laughs> um, so, sorry, aggressive yeah. on the court, soft spoken off the court. Um, yeah. And Gina was kind of saying, like, he likes when, you know, players can you know, turn that switch on when they go on the court and, and uh, you know, change that mindset. But what have you just seen from her, I guess, being able to spend the last eight months with her? Um, what's she like off the court? And also, was there moments at all, especially maybe when you first started playing with her during the summer, where you were actually surprised by what she was able to do on the court and just how kind of tough and competitive she was? Uh, okay. That was a lot. Um, <laughs> so, um, I knew that she was, you know, a great player, um, just how she carried herself in the summer. Um, I know she's on what the Canada national team or whatever. So you could definitely tell that she was, you know, well polished before, um, just, just little things that a freshman typically wouldn't do. She was, she was doing. So I definitely noticed that. Um, and she reminds me of myself because I'm very, you know, soft-spoken and mm-hmm. sweet off the court, but, once on the court, it's a whole different story. So I think it's funny that you said that. Um, like you said, she is very soft-spoken, um, very nice girl. <laughs> but on the court, she's a totally different person. Um, she's very aggressive, and she's stay clashing the boards. And that's just something that we need on this team. And I'm very proud of her because I feel like she's improved a lot over the past couple of games. Um, so, Yeah. I know this is uh this might be a little specific, but I just remember like when we first saw her, it was like, oh my gosh, she's like the most she kind of looked like she was the most physical on the court, even as a freshman. Um, was there a moment for you where you were like, wow, like this girl's physical, like she can <laughs> she's tough? <laughs> uh well, there are definitely moments in practice, like early on against the guys, um, 
we'll be like, dang, like she'll just move them out the way and be like, oh, wow, okay. But definitely the Marquette game uh, mm-hmm. at their place, she, she, it was like a eye opener that, yeah, she's physical. She's a physical player. And yeah, I was, think everybody noticed that. Was that the game where she uh, got hit in the mouth? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, everything kept rolling since then. So, and we just need her to keep being physical and aggressive in the paint. Hey, Christian and Doug with Hearst. Uh, you know, being obviously one of the older player in this, players on this team, what what advice do you have for the freshmen for the NCAA tournament in the postseason? And, you know, I know this year will be different with the bubble and all, but, mm-hmm. just, you know, how, how do you think they'll handle handle it? And just what advice, you know, do you have for them for that experience? Um, I'd give, I'd say, like, it is going to be different um, because we are in a bubble, but I will just say just keep sticking and keep sticking to do what they're, they've been doing. Don't try to do anything that's outside themselves just because it's the tournament. Um, just let's continue to, you know, play our roles and do everything that we've been doing that up leading to this point. So uh, that's what Lou and P <laughs> gave me my freshman year and uh, it was truthful. So that's what I did. And so that's the, advice I'd give to them. And do you think Paige will embrace that message or, cause I, you know, obviously a lot is going to be on her, her shoulders, but d- does she seem like the type who, you know, is willing to accept that or. I mean, of course, you know, I think she'll have a little nerves at first, but once the, the game gets going, she'll be fine. She's built for it. Yeah. She, she loves the, the big moments. Um, so yeah, she'll be good. <laughs> Does she seem different um, at all? You know, do, do you see that killer instinct, have, you know, in her under pressure? Um, you know, Gino's talked obviously a lot about how she just seems so calm in those moments, and it's a, kind of an innate ability, obviously. Yeah, he's right. She just is calm throughout everything, really. Um, you know, the big moments. She doesn't shy away from the big moments. And that's um, great. And as a competitor, that's what we need um, for this team to go very far. So, yeah, she's just continue to do what she's been doing, really. Nice. Kristen, I also wanted to ask you, um, I know it's been two years since you played in the NCAA tournament, which probably feels like a lifetime ago. Um, but you, um, that your freshman year, you had a really strong tournament. And again, I know it was a while ago and it's a different team, but do you have, I guess, extra confidence knowing that you were able to kind of really like turn things on in the postseason, um, even just as a freshman and kind of has that maybe experience, maybe inform just you mo- moving forward with the postseason this year and knowing that uh, you can put another strong performance together again. I mean, yeah. Um, the way I think of it is there's three different seasons um, over the course of a season, and this is a fresh start, brand new start postseason. So that's why I looked at it freshman year, and that's how I'm going to look at it this year. Um, so just a brand new slate, and we're going to get the ball going. <laughs> is it exciting or how do you I know it's it must be exciting but it's also maybe partly daunting with um just the fact that you guys are gonna be cooped up in you know hotel rooms for a lot of, large portion of the tournaments I'd rather be cooped up and not be able to do anything and play than not play at all so mm-hmm. we're just excited to play honestly like I said it's been two years since we even yeah, it's playing a tournament. And they've never even the freshmen never even experienced a tournament before. So we're all just really happy to play. But first we we gotta get through our conference tournament first. So just take it one day at a time. <laughs> Do you guys have any for either this weekend or you know, maybe moving forward for um San Antonio? but do you have plans for like stuff you guys can do to occupy your time when you're not on the court, but you're going to be kind of, I mean, from the itinerary I saw, we're either (laughs) on the court in our rooms or getting our food. (laughs) So I'm not really sure. I'm sure CD will have something planned, some type of activities, but I'm not even sure what we are able to do. Honestly, I'm just as clueless as you guys are. So (laughs) I'm just going to play the game. (laughs) 
<laughs> hopefully lots of uh you know team bonding and just hanging out or watching netflix or something so yeah i'm sure we'll figure something out cool thanks kristen